Unfortunately, the day of release of the HD plugin on RuneLite, my body decided to become sick, so sorry if there's any weird uh, sounds that I make. But uh, anyways, I am going to, in this video, go over some really cool areas and compare the old version, the old graphics, to the HD plugin. The classic Lumbridge. Uh, this is how it looks in the HD graphics, and if I turn it off, you will be surprised. Look how boring this looks. I mean, this is what we're used to, but when you put on the HD client, you can't believe that we actually played with those graphics. It is insane. As an RS3 player who's played it a lot, this looks pretty similar to that. And look at Priftinus. I want to do, go into the Corrupted Gauntlet, and I think Priftinus in itself, compared to the old version, looks absolutely stunning so well done and the lighting specifically is one of the things i think makes this plugin so insanely beautiful looking and you will see that in the corrupted gauntlet here so i'm going to enter the corrupted gauntlet and there's actually some other clips here as well that just show off the lighting so well look at this the colors look so beautiful and i will be turning off the hg in just a second here and you will see specifically look at the hunlef it's so like bland without it and when you turn this on it looks gloomy and uh, super beautiful with uh, the strong red colors so doing the gauntlet is going to be more fun now at least for me of course we have to go to one of the most iconic bosses of old school runescape the barrows brothers and uh, first off you can see how misty this area looks which is very fitting of course as it is in mauritania and uh, the Barrow's brother, you can see that guy is fighting Darok, looks uh, really well done as well. Almost looks like Jello, to be honest. But uh, let's turn off the plugin, and he is literally just a pink color. But now he all of a sudden gets more life, and I get a combat achievement. But uh, yeah, the lighting, as I said, in the caves as well looks perfect. And actually something pretty interesting is that when you do go into the cave, you can actually see the entire cave. So I'm going to zoom in here and you can actually see all the doors on even the other side. Maybe you will be able to even see where you're supposed to go. I wasn't really uh, thinking about that, but uh, watching the clip over, you probably can. Because now you can't see all of the doors. You can only see uh, just a bit ahead. But if you do this, you can see all the doors, so you might be able to even uh, know which door you should enter first. Ignore the fact that the dragon is walking in the air, but uh, at least the model looks pretty good. Also the lava behind me, all the lighting from that, and my character. You can see the shadow as well in the lava when I walk past. And I'm going to turn off the HD. You can see the uh, graphics on my character and the dragon is so vastly different uh, with or without the plugin on. And of course, as I am here, I should enter the KBD lair, and actually when I entered here, I thought I kind of entered RS3's KBD lair, because it looked so similar. If you log into it, you can uh, see what I mean, but uh, yeah, it looks really good. Turn off the HD, and uh, all of a sudden, of course, it's uh, very bland, and uh, turn it on, and I am dead. Of course we had to go to the money maker himself, the Vorkath boss, and uh, I have to say that this area looks really nice, but uh, also at the same time, it is a pretty basic area, it's literally just snow, there's not that much lighting, so I think that the uh, mod or the plugin here does not really uh, show itself that much except in the dragon's fire so when it shoots fire at you you can actually see the lighting and it really shows what the mod can do i'm sorry if i call it mod by the way because i'm just not used to saying plugin but um yeah it is very nice when you turn on the hd graphics on this fire specifically and i think that uh, warcath himself also looks pretty decent you can see the shadow as well under the uh, projectiles that the boss shoots out and the eyes brush of course in hd got some 2008 vibe graphics right there this is solra with the normal graphics and if we turn it on this is hd solra i've done a lot of solra and i think most people in old school has done a lot of solra for the money and I think with the better graphics, it is going to be a bit more enjoyable to kill this boss. Even though you have probably like 5,000 kill on this, 
the, it, at least if it looks a bit better, then you will maybe be more motivated to kill those balls. So this is the second best area I found for just the lighting. I think the difference between HD here and uh, without HD is so massive. It is ridiculous. So look at the uh, portal in the middle here. The braziers that light up the area with the blue fire, also the blue pools beside the middle pillars. Look at this, this looks beautiful and when I turn off the HD you will be like oh my god did we play with this, look at this, this is so pale, this is like no colors and then you turn this on and it looks amazing. Also when I enter here you will see that the, uh, another achievement by the way, achievement hunter, you will see that the NPCs in here and the glow of the uh, blue lava you can kind of say. It's just so nice. The atmosphere, the gloomy nature of it, everything just looks so nice. And then <laughs> turn it off and it's just so boring. Just a small note here about the farming patch grass. Look at this. You can barely see that it's grass. It just looks like green uh, mush. And then you turn this on and you can see every single straw. Such a massive difference. It's actually insane. Farmers rejoice. I don't want to drag this video out for too long, but there were just so many awesome areas that I just can't believe is actually in old school now because of the HD plugin. I just want to say a small disclaimer. Of course, if you don't want to play with the HD client because you just prefer the old ways, you're a nostalgic person, then of course you should do that. The HD plugin, I just think, is a super nice quality of life thing for people, especially coming from like RS3 that just can't really deal with the graphics of uh, old school RuneScape in general, or people that come from other games like World of Warcraft or Final Fantasy or whatever online games they're playing, maybe even Fortnite for the youngsters out there, and um, they just look at old school RuneScape and they see this, and then they're like, no, I'm not playing that. But they see this, and maybe they think to themselves, hey, that doesn't look too bad, looks pretty nice and cozy. I might try that out. And that is just a win for everyone. Even if you're not really a fan of the HD client, which, I mean, it's each to their own, you know, uh, then I think you still benefit from this, because more players is always super good. And it's so nice that Jagex actually decided to accept the... Uh, the deal you could say or work with 117 who is the creator of the HD client and I actually went here to look at the Abyssal Demons because uh, I was kind of interested on how they were going to look and I was not disappointed at all. Also this layer tower has a lot of lighting and braziers and all this which uh, looks really good. So look at the Abyssal Demons now. I'm going to zoom in in just a second and when I turn this off, look at this. This looks like the old uh, 2008 models when they updated them, I think at least, but uh, looks a lot better. I know that in RuneScape 3 their models are different, but uh, I know that they look like this like a bit later. If you're a fan of the fire cape and how much it stands out from your character, then you will be very happy about the HD client's work on this because it is lighting up like an absolute light bulb. You can see that it's uh, very, very clear that you have a fire cape on, but I think it looks really nice. Maybe it could be toned down a bit, but also maybe it's uh, how it should be. The last and final favorite area I have to show off is the current Slayer dungeon. I will show you guys what this looks without HD in just a bit, but you will be stunned. The difference is absolutely ginormous. Just look at the crystals and how much light they emanate, and how it lights up the entire dungeon with this gloomy purple color. And this is, I feel like, how it should be. Look at this, there's like, just purple smashed on colors on the crystals and they don't really glow or anything. And then you turn on the HD client and the whole dungeon gets affected by the crystal's lighting. Look at this. It is so nice. I, I will never basically be able to be in this dungeon without the HD client. That is a 100% for sure. But that is going to conclude this video on the RuneLite HD plugin made by 117 and it goes without saying that the plugin is absolutely amazing. I think that this update does more for the game's health in the long term than a lot of the other recent updates to the game and it's not even made by Jagex. But it's very nice that Jagex has embraced this and by the way you can see what I'm talking about now about the fire cape glowing up in the dark areas. Looks very nice, I'm going to turn around my character. 
But um, yeah, super happy about this. I will basically always be playing with this uh, HD client on when I play old school RuneScape. Right now I'm not playing it that much, but uh, whenever I do get into it, I will definitely be playing with this. Also think about all the awesome thumbnails, all the YouTubers that you watch will be able to make with this HD client. You can maybe see that my thumbnail looked pretty nice, at least I think so. So uh, yeah, super hyped about being able to use this client and uh, I'm not going to drag it on anymore. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Have a good one guys. Take care.